Good morning, Sleeping Eevee family, and welcome back to Mailbag Monday. We do have some mail today. I do have more coming. We do have some mail today. And if you're in the United States, I'm going to go ahead and say this. Happy July 4th. <laughs> Hopefully you guys have a safe July 4th and a very good one. Uh, there's been fireworks going on here since Saturday, and I anticipate them to be <laughs> also today and tomorrow. <laughs> my puppers do not like the fireworks, especially my poor baby new. So, <laughs> but there's actually something in the mail today, which we'll go ahead and get started, that I kind of forgot I ordered. Uh, <laughs> if I apparently ordered this earlier in June <laughs> and didn't quite remember I ordered it. So this came from TCG Player. I won't show you guys the receipt just because it's got my address on it. And it is Galarian Slow King V. I had completely forgotten I'd ordered this one. I think I just went ahead and ordered it since it's one of the few remaining full arts, if not the last full art that I wanted to get at the Sword Shield era. There might be one more, but this is kind of the one I really wanted to get. It is just a really, really cool full art from Chilling Rain. I like the colors in it, and I like the Galarian Sloking Pokemon in general. I always liked this one from the DLC that we got in Sword and Shield, so really wanted this full art card. I thought it was awesome. So I was just glad to pick that one up. Just a full art that I really liked. And I don't think there's any other full arts from the Sword Shield era that I really just need to grab. <laughs> just really just kind of want. If anything, there were cards that I thought Kyle might like. That's my brother. <laughs> I think he liked the Ray Plaza full art, which that one's cool. But this is kind of the last one I had listed for myself that I really wanted out of the Sword Shield era. Everything else I think would be more like alternate arts or rainbows. So I'm getting close to finishing up Sword Shield era cards that I want to grab. Unless, you know, I end up changing my mind later. But, <laughs> all right, we'll get into the next one. This one is from Ray. Ray Quaza. It's been a while since Ray has Make an appearance on the channel. <laughs> she always has wonderful stack sales. And I did commission her at one point to sell some cards for me. But she sent an extra Glaceon V to us. And the card I actually got was this Rainbow Rare Garchomp and Giratina tag team. Again, I'm still working on some tag teams and she had this one. So I was super excited to be able to snag it from her stack sale because cards on her stack sales go very quickly. So <laughs> if you really want one or two, I would just zone in on those. I kind of just wanted this one. There was kind of, there was a couple that were really neat, but I knew if I really wanted to get that card in particular, I just needed to have hyper focus on it. So <laughs> that's the way I've been able to grab some cards. <laughs> And it's another tag team down, I'll have marked off, and I think I have some more tag teams coming, maybe like a couple. So we're getting towards those rainbows and more of the full arts, so ones that are a little bit harder to grab rather than just the regular art ones. But we still have the side mission of trying to get all the tag team cards. Okay, this next one is from Poke Tyro. And here is the card that he sent, business card. And from Poketaro, I got the Full Art de Dene, the Terraform, which actually is a really pretty card. Again, I love the white background on these cards. They just look amazing. It just looks so great with the Pokemon. It allows the Pokemon to pop a little bit. Just having that white background makes it very kind of elegant looking. <laughs> but it allows that Pokemon and the the uh, Terra type to pop really, really well. I like that they picked white backgrounds for these cards. And the other one is the Boss's Orders uh, Special Illustration Rare. This is one of the few I have not pulled. I, You guys will be seeing a lot of Day of Old cards, I think, uh, next week as well. I've been grabbing quite a few of them and traded for several of them. And this is one of them. I'm super happy to add this one in, both of them in, really, to kind of just start chipping away at the cards that I still need for my Paldea, Paldea Evolved Master Set. 
and we're getting there. We're going, we're getting slow, but I definitely think a bunch of trades I did uh, last week are gonna be coming through and so you guys can see a lot of them and we're gonna get this master set done. A little bit at a time, <laughs> but like I said, there's a lot of cards I was able to trade for and it's gonna be a massive, massive addition to the master set and it's gonna be very helpful. So even if I pull some more duplicates out of openings that I do, we'll be able to trade for, hopefully trade for some of the other cards I need. One of the big ones I still need is Iono. The other one, maybe it's the terrain card. Okay, so this next one is from Diego. And this one is a trade. So those were purchases. This one is actually a trade. And the first one is the Sprigatito illustration rare. I think the starters are actually quite up there, especially to me, the Sprigatito line is actually the more expensive line. Fue Coco, I think, being second, if I don't have those mixed up. Sprigatito line, the Miascarata card is actually quite playable. Uh, but the Fue Coco, I believe, is kind of playable. I think everybody just really loves Fue Coco since it was kind of picked more than the other two. <laughs> but the Miascarata card is quite playable, so the Sprigatito line is very desirable to get. And the other one is a card that actually became one of my top chases for the set <laughs> is the Grusha Special Illustration Rare. And I wanted this card because out of Scarlet and Violet base, I collected Starlies. So you see two Starlies down here. And I collected an entire page of Starlies that I think I've posted up on Twitter and Instagram, if you guys want to see it. <laughs> but. Not only that, and it's just a beautiful scene in general, if you look right up in the corner, right there, if it will focus, that is a Glaceon. So you have a Glaceon actually in this card, and it almost looks hidden. <laughs> and I think my Mudkip actually pointed that out to me. I did not even see that in the card. That I saw it on Twitter, but I'm pretty sure my Mudkip pointed that out to me. I didn't even see that in the card until later on. And I was like, I absolutely want this card now. Not only because it has Starlies in it, but the fact that there's a Glaceon up in the corner. We gotta make sure we collect these evolutions, you know? <laughs> so it is a beautiful, beautiful card. And I'm very happy, very happy to get it. <laughs> and honestly, we've kind of almost snagged all of the chase cards too that I've wanted out of Paldea Evolved. There was quite a few. I think as far as illustration mirrors, I'm still working on getting some rookies. I'm determined to get a rookie page. And the one illustration, special illustration rare, I think was my top choice, other than the Grusha, was the Skeleturge, since I actually did have Skeleturge. Of course, I did want to get that Quack Ball as well. That one is a very good looking one. I definitely pulled that one myself. <laughs> but the Skeleturge was a very good looking card. There's quite a few that were very good. That are, that are very good in Paldea Evolved, it's kind of hard to really pick one because there's just so many. So it's more of, I'm picking a handful because they're just, there's just some great artwork. Okay, and then the last one that I picked up from Twitter, there's one more left that I'm gonna show you guys. It's from Poke Therapy. <laughs> and we're actually going back into the Sun and Moon era again, not to any tag team set, but to Hidden Fates. So I picked up this Tapalooie Night GX Gold from Hidden Fates from Poke Therapy, And this is the last gold from Hidden Fates that I needed. I do have the other Tapus. This is just a really pretty one. I think this is actually one I have, I had given out on the channel before in one of my very early giveaways. And it might have been a subscriber hit giveaway, but I pretty sure I gave away actually a slab of this card early on <laughs> on my YouTube. And then the other one I picked up is the ho -Oh GX Shiny ho -Oh card. So this one's really, really cool. And I think I have six or seven cards from Hidden Fates. I still have left to pick up. All of them are full art cards. I think six of them, seven cards. One of them is actually a promo, the Shiny Rayquaza. Other five shiny full arts, of course, are in Hidden Fates, and I would like to get that Cynthia card. I know she's very expensive, but she actually has a shiny Lucario in the card 
and Lucario is one of my favorite Pokemon too. <laughs> but very happy to pick those up. There's, you know, just a few left from Hidden Fates that I don't have, so I'm very excited to try to finish that set as well. And then the last pickup, this one actually came from Bayi. And it's been a while since I got some cards from Bayi, but I definitely wanted to get these. And I was so happy to get people pick up the rest of them. So, <laughs> they came from various buyers, but it was on Bayi. If you guys want to get cards from Japan, I would suggest Bayi. It's actually really, a really nice way to get cards directly from Japan. I, uh, my friend Misty has actually used Bai and she was able to pick up some of these cards too, but I definitely would recommend it. So our first one, see we got some extras and you guys I'm sure saw the peak. We got some Japanese Quackaball, Quackswells, Japanese Sea Tunnel, and the Yu Naganaba Vaporeon card. So <laughs> I'm sure you guys are gonna guess what other cards are gonna be in here. But this is one of the ones I had missing, so I was very happy to pick up this one. I kind of waited a little bit longer, like I said it would, to, in order to pick up some of these because I knew they would kind of drop down in price a little bit after the initial hype, which they did. I think if you try to pick them up on Twitter, there's a lot of people who are still selling them. It's not too bad of a price, but I think a lot of these I paid about 12 or $13 for that's from Bai, which is actually pretty good. And uh, again, with Bai, I like this one because you can put them all together, buy them from different users, you can put them in like a warehouse, a holding place for you, and then you can have them all shipped here, so. Okay, next one is the Espeon. The Espeon U Naganaba card. They're just all really pretty. I'm kind of glad I picked up the Pikachu when I did too. Um, I actually, Nope, I don't have it up here. But I'm glad I picked, up, I picked up the Pikachu right when these were announced. Because for me, I would have wanted to get that Pikachu as well to kind of complete the entire collection. <laughs> Just because if I'm going to get at least some of the evolution cards, I would want to get all of them. All the cards of the same collection type from Yu Naganaba. So definitely glad I picked that one up. And then we have Jilteon and Flareon, which all these just, the way they're drawn is very unique. <laughs> they all look very angry. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just, I just really like them. <laughs> the Pikachu one was one I liked too. I just, one of those that, oh, I'm not gonna buy it right now. I will buy it a different time. And we have two more. And these are actually some of these Wes Schwartz cards that got added in here. We got Leafeon. I like the fact that the Leafeon just has like this very null expression. <laughs> and I actually think the Leafeon and this last one I have, I picked up from the same seller since they were packaged very much the same. So all of these cards and then the Glaceon. That was the very last one. So I had already snagged from Pokeball, uh, Pokeball Billionaires, the Umbreon, Sylveon, and Eevee. And these were the ones that I had left. And I was kind of glad I picked those three to snag from him. These weren't nearly as expensive as the Sylveon and the Umbreon. Umbreon being the most expensive. So it was really nice I was able to, put, to uh, grab these for not super expensive, <laughs> but uh, it, hopefully you guys, you know, found a card today that was enjoyable. I, I always enjoy sharing the cards I like to pick up because I feel like it makes it unique to the collection I have, not just because I'm, you know, creating master sets from Scarlet and Violet, I know a lot of people are, but I also do pick up of cards that I just generally like, like the Galarian Sloking V is just a card I just generally like. And other collections I work on, like the Hidden Fates, because I really do like shiny Pokemon, as well as, you know, evolution cards and the tag teams. But there's generally just some cards that, for no reason, I'll just pick up just because I just really like them. And I like sharing that with you guys, just sharing my tastes, uh, what I like in Pokemon cards. 
And I also enjoy you guys leaving me comments down below of what you like, either from my mailbag videos or cards that you really enjoy too. You can always put one down in the comments that is one that you just really like just because the artwork or just generally because of the Pokemon. <laughs> so I would love to hear from you guys. And uh, if you would, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and as always, take care, sleep well, and good night.